Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be a very quick tutorial uh, just on how to get started with OpenVSP. Uh, so if you guys go and Google OpenVSP as I've done here, you're going to see that this is going to be the first thing that pops up. So OpenVSP is a NASA software that they developed and it is free. Uh, so once you got to the main page, you can go ahead and click on the download button. And then from there, whether you're on Windows or Mac, uh, it still works for either of those. I'm currently on a Mac, but uh, the process should be just the same as for Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. And save the file. And it actually downloads a zip file um, that you need to unzip to actually get the software running. It's as easy as just double clicking on this VSP. So you might encounter this. Um, if you do, don't worry about that. Um, all you have to do is go down to your system preferences, go to security, and it's recognized here already that you tried to open VSP but it blocked it because it's an unknown uh, developer. Just hit open anyway and it'll allow you to actually do that. Now that we've got VSP open, I'm going to go ahead and close out of these to clean up my screen for you guys. Uh, this one you need to leave open. It's just a terminal window that uh, I'll minimize there. So now you've got the main window here, and this is where as we start to put some geometry in here, you'll visually see what happens there. Uh, we're interested in generating a wing. So from this drop down, go to wing, hit add, and it automatically generates a wing. This is what why OpenVSP is so powerful, is because it allows you to generate uh, 3D geometry very quickly. All right, so to manipulate it like I just did, uh, I use a mouse. I think it's it's really uh, kind of a must when you're working in any type of 3D geometry programs like this. Uh, so holding down the left mouse button is going to allow you to rotate it, uh, view it at any angle that you want to. If you hold down the right mouse button, you're going to be able to paint it around your screen. If you want to zoom in and out, all you do is hold down the middle mouse button, or that might be on a scroll wheel for you all. As it is for me, you just hold that down and you push the mouse forward and aft to zoom in and out. Uh, another way that you can do this is by going up to your view menu, and you can view it from your top. Uh, so this would be very similar. This is what we would call our plan form shape that we talked about uh, when I came to visit you guys. Uh, you can also do, there's left, right, bottom, rear, um, these left ISO and right ISO are just uh, isometric viewpoints. Okay, so one thing I want you guys to get in the habit of early is to save your work and save it often. I can't stress that enough. Um, so if I just want to save something to my desktop here, it's going to save it as wing.vsp. So we can see that that did in fact come onto my desktop. Uh, so anytime you guys make a change, um, even if it's sometimes it feels a bit repetitive, but I promise you, uh, you'll thank me for that in the end because uh, this software is not perfect. It does have some bugs that you might encounter. Um, I hope not for you all because you're doing very simple things with this at this point. Uh, but if it were to crash and you're saving often, you're always going to have that file to go back to so you don't lose your work. All right, so there are a number of menus. I'm not going to have you worry about um, especially analysis right now. Uh, but if you're wanting to view it, uh, so this is currently showing one window. If you want to see two different views at once, so you want to see the plan form and make a change, but see how that change affects, uh, let's say, from the right, uh, you can have two windows. Uh, so you can see things happening at the same time. For some of you, if you're wanting to get really creative, you're trying to create a biplane or even a triplane, uh, you will have to add another wing. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. If you go back up here, you have wing selected and you hit add. It doesn't look like anything happened, right? Uh, well, what's happening here is that you've got the same wing that is being put in directly on top of your existing wing. So you can see here in your um, browser that you've actually got two wings. So how do we verify that we've got two? So let's go ahead and select the second wing. And you'll notice that as soon as you created these, a new window popped up. 
so this is how you're going to design your wing. Uh, so if you go, so in general, you can uh, change your colors, uh, different things like that here. But for the most part, you're not going to worry about, worry about this. Uh, if you go to X form, this is how you can manipulate it. If you want to move it up or down, um, forward and aft about your axes, you can do that. So if we go to Z, so the X, Y, and Z LOC, that's just your location. Uh, and you can also manipulate it by rotating it about each of these axes as well. So I'm just going to use this slider and everything uses these sliders to adjust parameters. So if I scroll that over, now you can see we do in fact have two wings. Uh, to make it a little bit easier to see, because sometimes this gets a little bit confusing as you're uh, rotating it around the screen, it gets a little bit busy. That's okay. You can select all and shade it. So that, that's a little bit easier to, to see what's actually going on, right? Um, you can also do that individually by just selecting one individually. And anytime you have a single component selected, it's going to put these red boxes around it so you know which one you're working with. Um, so I can put that one back to wire if I want. Also, if you happen to make a mistake, um, you can actually hit Command Z or Control Z if you're on Windows uh, to undo a change. Uh, so now that didn't undo the service settings, but it did undo the parameters that we selected in here. So keep that in mind and also that you cannot then redo it. Uh, so that's why, again, I stress that you guys save often. Now, if you want to delete a component, you can do that too. We already have this one highlighted, so I'll go ahead and delete that. So now we're just back to one wing. I hope that this was helpful in getting you guys started, at least in OpenVSP. I do hope that every one of you has been able to at least get the software up and running. Um, I am next going to go into what each of these tabs in the wing menu uh, does and how to start designing a wing based on your uh, individual planform shapes. Uh, but one other thing that I want to mention before ending this video is that if we go back to that OpenVSP website, if at any point you guys get stuck, uh, you need some additional help, or you're just curious at what some of these more advanced uh, features do, there are some very helpful tutorial videos already that um, the team at OpenVSP created. You just get there by going to get started up at the top and then the tutorial videos. So I will see you guys in the next video.